Hey, what's going on, agents? It's time for another Age of Mission Films video. Uh, right now, it is exactly 8.45 p.m. on Tuesday, the 26th of March, 2013. Uh, today is actually a double upload day because I figured out something a couple days ago that I forgot to show you guys any recent or recently, or uh, that's not even a word either, more recently. So I'm showing you guys now. So right now, I am recording my screen with my iPod, like you can see. Um, and today, I'm going to be showing you semi... Um, semi-permanent texture switching from Minecraft, and this is Minecraft 1.5.1, and I don't know if it'll change in any future versions. If it does, then I will figure out how to, uh, do it again, if it will work. It'll probably be, stay the same for, like, ever. Um, but, uh, right now, I know it works, so don't hit on me if it comes around to, like, uh, 1.5.2, and you're like, it doesn't work, and I was like, yeah, it does, because it's 1.5.2, not 1.5.1, no. I'm lucky. Okay. Um, and Shoulder Bro is also here with me. Uh, yeah. So, first what you're going to want to do in order to do a semi-permanent texture switch, which is basically switching your textures around in Minecraft without having to make it a texture pack and install it. Uh, all you need to do is go to your pictures folder in your computer. If it's pic not pictures, then that's not my fault. I'm just doing this on a Windows 7 operating system, so this is how you do it on Windows 7. And it's probably going to be somewhat similar anywhere else. So I've already done this, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. What you're going to want to do is you're going to go into your pictures and you're going to make a new folder called MC Pictures or name it whatever you want, but I prefer to name it MC Pictures. And you're going to open that folder when you make it and make two more folders called Edited and Original. Um, so in Edited and in Original, you're going to want to add three folders. Blocks, Items, and Mobs. And do that in both of them. So once you got that done, and uh, you have the same thing here. What you're going to want to do is just minimize this. Don't close it, but minimize it. Go into Minecraft.jar, which I have copied to my home screen. But um, if you don't know how to get to your Minecraft.jar or to your .minecraft folder, where have you been in a cave? Um, then you're going to want to do percent in your uh, search bar on your start menu. Uh, you want to do percent app data, not Dara, data, percent, and hit enter, and it'll take you to your roaming file, and up here, right at the top probably, unless you have something else installed, it will have a folder called dot minecraft, like you just saw. You're going to open that, and here you are in your dot minecraft, and to get your minecraft dot jar, you're going to go to a folder called bin, right there, and it's right here, minecraft, and some might even say that it's called 1.5.1, whatever you want, whatever it is, um, just make sure you have an archiver and open it up. Uh, so right now, um, like, I, like you can see, I'm in my minecraft.jar. Um, IT running, sorry. Okay, so here uh, is all the folders that make your Minecraft Minecraft. Uh, this includes the pixely textures and everything else. So uh, what we're going to go do is go down to this textures folder. And you'll see that there's two. There's called blocks. There's one called blocks and there's one called items. Now for this tutorial actually, what we're going to be doing is leaving the textures folder and we're actually going to go up to one called mob. And that has all the textures for mobs in Minecraft. Uh, and creeper is actually right there. As you can see, right here. Um, and today we are going to be editing the creeper. Now I already have creeper uh, pulled up in the originals folder, but in order to do that, you're just going to want to uh, open creeper.png. And I'm using Windows uh, Windows Live Photo Gallery. That's it. You see, you know, this tiny little creeper. You know, there's a little zoom button on here, so we'll zoom in. Blah. That's a creeper. Now I actually have him changed, like you can see, and that is what we're going to change it to in this tutorial. So right now, uh, all you really need to do is open that and, uh, uh, in a minute, please, in a minute, in a minute, I am recording. Sorry about that. Um, uh, my sisters are going to bed, they want hugs and kisses, good night. My family does that. So anyway, all you need to do is open that in, uh, live photo gallery, uh, and, uh, there's a little button at the top, as you can see here, it says edit, organize, or share. Click that, and uh, it'll save it to your pictures folder. So we're going to close out all that. We won't need it for very well. And go back to here. Um, it, it'll be right here in your pictures folder, and you're going to drag it, which I know it's not here. We'll do it with the uh, Age of Mr. Films banner. We'll do it 
and just drag it into MC Pictures. Drag it into um, into Original. Uh, drag it into Mobs or whatever it is, depending on which. So we're gonna actually just move this back. I moved it there. Uh, so this is the original Creeper that I have. You will always want to have the original on hand just in case you don't like the way it looks in Minecraft. Uh, so here we have the Creeper. Uh, that's the way it looks. That's the way it's supposed to look. Uh, but I kind of didn't like that. So in order to change it, you're going to have to right click it. Go to uh, copy down here. Click copy. And then leave original and like go all the way back to MC Pictures. And go into edited. Go into mobs for this one, obviously. Uh, we're going to right click and we're going to hit paste. And that'll bring it up right here. And uh, then we right click on it again and go into edit. Now I find that um, Microsoft Paint works just fine for this. If you have something else that you prefer, um, I know the helmets on zombies doesn't work very well on paint. It turns them white because the erased part is also white as well as writing white. So uh, yeah. So in order to change it, all you really need to do is uh, go to the pencil or whatever. And um, we're going to make a red eyed creeper today. So this is the head right here, the face as you can see. We're going to go to black because if you see it on a regular thing, then you'll kind of notice how, uh, if it's not on a camera obviously, then you'll kind of notice how the textures are a little different on the creeper. It isn't like solid black everywhere, and my hand's really shaky because I have it zoomed in. It isn't all black everywhere, it's kind of shaded so that it looks kind of cross-eyed. And we're going to keep that, but uh, right now, just set it to solid black so that it's a little easier to work with. And then we're going to go up here, and I use bright red, but you can use dark red or bright red, and just select one of those colors of red, and right there on that little pixel right there, just click, click, and there we go. We have our creeper. So now you're going to hit X, uh, the, you're going to close out of this, and save it, uh, rename it, um, hold on, keep it like this for a minute. And then I'll show you what to do with it afterwards. So then we're going to open up our Minecraft.jar again. And I have it saved on my desktop, but if you don't know how, then uh, just go back. Rewind the video a little bit. Go down to Mob, like we were in a little bit ago. Um, and then you don't even have to delete the original Creeper. All you have to do is uh, drag this Creeper, which we just changed, into the file. And I'm actually going to hit Cancel, but uh, all you have to do is hit OK, and it'll... Do a little loading, and then it'll have it done. I actually like the creeper, my creeper, the way it is, and I'll show you guys. Um, it's just like that, but I think I did um, dark red. I might have done bright red, but I'm pretty sure I did dark red. So uh, it'll replace the creeper in your uh, Minecraft.jar, in your Minecraft, basically, um, with the creeper you just made. And you can do this with any mob, as far as I know. Like, I've edited the witch a little bit. I made his eyes red, too. And... Yeah, it worked out pretty well. So um, so that's how you do it with the creeper, and uh, everything else is basically the same. So we're going to close out of Minecraft.jar, out of edited. Oh, wait, hold on. We're not going to close out of edited. Um, we're actually going to go back to pictures. MC pictures, edited, um, mobs. Uh, and then you're going to right-click and hit rename. And then type in, I'm going to type in tutorial. But you guys type in, like, whatever it is that you made to tutorial and then that'll save it as tutorial so you can have uh, your things here on file just when you want to change it back to uh, when you want to put it into your minecraft just remember to switch it back to lowercase and then the name of the mob and like if you don't know what the name of the mob is then just go into your minecraft.jar and look at it um, so yeah so we're going to close out of uh, edited and open minecraft um, when it loads, anyways, it might take a little bit, my Minecraft always does, so we're going to log in, yay, it's still 1.5.1, woof, okay, so, uh, Forge Minecraft Loader, setting up your Minecraft environment, that's just because I have a couple mods installed that are really actually kind of cool, um, I won't leave links to those, but I might do a showcase a little later, hi guys, <laughs> you can see me in the Minecraft thing, I'm going to full screen it, said full screen it. It might do like a little not responding thing sometimes when Minecraft does it. It's kind of slow because it's a small laptop as you can see. Um, but yeah. So it'll eventually load up. Um, 
And I hope it hurries up because this video has to be under 50 minutes. Otherwise, I won't upload to YouTube straight from my iPod. Hurry up, computer! Thank you, shoulder bro. No problem. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so it's loading. And, bleh. Ha. Got you. Okay. Um, oh, there it goes. Well, it's a full screen. Ah, perfect. So now you're going to go into single player, or multiplayer if you want to, but I'm going to go into single player. Go into Ma awesome world. Um, it's loading world, building terrain. Might take a minute. Uh, I have damage indicators. You'll notice that there, and probably a couple other things too. But uh, I have damage indicators, so it kind of shows that, um, like it has a little corner thing. And it'll show what the mob looks like there and somewhere else. Oh, see? Damage Indicators mod is out of date. Fantastic. So, uh, there's a couple creepers right over here. I don't know if you can see it very well. There might be a little glare. So we're just going to fly down because I was flying. And come over here. And hey, creeper, look at me. Look at me. See, Damage Indicators. Look at me, derp face. See? There it is. And it's awesome. It's like red-eyed creeper. And uh, that idea was actually taken from Fallen Kingdom, Captain Sparkle's video. Oh, don't walk away. But anyway, that idea uh, I got from Captain Sparkle's video, Fallen Kingdom, because all the creepers there had red eyes and stuff. It was really cool. But yeah, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like, favorite, rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you're going to do. I'm not going to tell you what to do, as always. And um, thanks for sticking with me all day today. It was a dual upload day, so yeah. Oh, bye, creeper. And, uh, yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, peace out, and have a good night, I guess.